Hello, welcome to Tahara Loves Pilates. So this session is dedicated purely to stretching. Let's lengthen those muscles out. Um, so I have a TheraBand here. Don't worry if you don't have one of these. You can always use something household like a dressing gown cord um, or a scarf or something. It doesn't really need to have the stretch. It just needs to support the legs or body parts as we get going. So I'm just going to put that to the side and we're starting in a cross-legged position. So really feel the sitting bones underneath you and just relax the arms over the knees. Just take a few breaths in and out here just to center the body. And we're going to round the shoulders, tip the pelvis forwards and start with a bit of a cat-cow motion. Arching through the back and folding, rounding the spine, feel the back of the neck stretch and lengthen up. Feel the sitting bones move underneath you as you round the back. It should feel like you're behind them, kind of like they're scooching forward. And as you lengthen and arch through the back, it should feel like you're right on top of them, if not in front. And holding here, we're gonna circle the arms up and over. Reach the arms to the back. Let's just move my blocks out of the way. I'm just going to turn the head to one side, stretching through the neck. Back to centre and head to the other side. The fingertips are just lengthening behind. I'm not putting any weight on. I'm reaching those fingertips back, feeling a stretch across the collarbones. Back over to the side, we're going to look down, feel a stretch through the neck, through the shoulders. Going back the way we came at the side, looking down. and all the way back up. So we're going to place one hand at the back of the head and we're coming over into a sort of mermaid position. We're lifting up and over. Breathing into the side of the rib cage and coming back to sitting tall. Two more, lengthen up and over. If you want to increase the stretch, go ahead and reach that arm over. Otherwise, keep it resting at the back of the head. And again, sitting bones stay planted on the floor. This time, we're tipping over and rounding the spine, rotating the body. We're coming up back through center, like twisting the other way, extending back to center, tipping over, rounding and rotating. Opening back up, twisting to extend. Last one, up and over, round. And lift and twist. other side up and over breathing into the ribs shoulders stay down and away from the ears here adding our rotation and our twist, rounding the back. Really feel the shoulder blades, that space in between your shoulder blades, open up. Up and over, twist. It's almost like you're pushing in between the shoulders up towards the ceiling. Last one.
And coming back to center, release the arms. We're just going to lengthen the legs long, sitting right up on top of the sitting bones. If it feels more comfortable, you can sit on a cushion, you can sit on a Pilates block just to elevate the pelvis up away from the floor. That'll just reduce maybe the intensity of this position. Arms are just rested on the thighs and we're nodding chin to chest as we reach the fingertips towards the feet, pointing the toes. Lengthening back up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, reach. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, reach. And don't force it, just go as far as the body wants to go. Just let gravity do some work here in pulling the body down. Next time we reach down, we're holding here. Let's flex the right foot. Point the right foot, flex the left foot. Point the left foot and growing tall once again. So we're folding our right leg in towards the body and we're putting the foot against the opposite thigh. So think tree pose in yoga. Pelvis is nice and square. And we're just walking the hands down the front, nodding the head as we get as far as is comfortable. You can keep the foot flexed here or you can point the toe. So this is where having a band or a dressing gown cord can come in handy. If your flexibility is slightly lacking, you can use this to reach and support you as you stretch. Important to breathe here, really relaxing the body down. And releasing all the way back up. This time we're turning the body so we're on that kind of same line as the leg and we're reaching down. So just let the arm lengthen along the inside of your leg. And we can hold here if that's enough or place the hand at the back of the head. That will just give a little bit more of a push in that direction. You can also increase the stretch by reaching that arm up and over. Flex the foot or point the toe, whatever feels comfortable. With each breath, just feel the body melting over. This top arm now, wherever it is, at the back of the head, lengthening long, we're gonna reach it up and over. Keep reaching it behind you, feel the floor and lengthen up. So the legs stay exactly where they are and we're just pressing the pelvis up, bending back, opening up the whole front line of the body. Gently guide the body back down, reaching through that arm and we repeat on the other side. Bending your left leg in, just planting the foot against the inside of your right leg. Find those sitting bones, find that square pelvis, and we're walking forwards. And again, we can use our band, our scarf, our dressing gown cord around the foot to support. And with every exhale, just feel the body fall forwards just that little bit more. Relaxing the head. If any parts of the body feel uncomfortable in this stretch, imagine that you're breathing directly into that area. Imagine it expanding as you inhale and just melting heavy as you exhale. Coming all the way back up. Hands on the inside of that leg as we twist. bring the hand to support the back of the head, reaching that elbow up towards the ceiling, or we'll lengthen that top arm. And 
breathing into that long side. And wherever the arm is placed, we're gonna lengthen it back. Find the floor behind you. Stand into that hand as you push the pelvis up, opposite arm comes forwards, finding that long back bend. And lengthen all the way back down. From here, just removing any band that's underneath the feet, and we're coming to roll all the way down. So reach the arms forwards, guide the spine down, bone by bone. And bending the knees in. So once you're laying down flat, reaching for your band, and we're going to place it around the right foot. Lengthen that leg up towards the ceiling. And we're really focusing on pushing the back of the knee away. Just hold here for a few breaths. The band is optional, so you can always just use your hands as well, so whatever feels comfy. From here, we're going to bend the knee, almost aiming for the shoulder, and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen, two more. Bend and lengthen. Last one. And lengthen, keep the leg long. We're going to flex the foot and send the leg over to the opposite side of the body. So you'll feel a really intense stretch down the side of the leg. If the leg starts to feel a bit pins and needly, um, just reduce the amount of stretch. It's just some kind of nervous system uh, reaction. Back to centre. So keep holding with your band. I like to use my hand for this one. I reach for the inside of my foot and I bring my knee down towards the mat as much as possible. So it's a really deep hip flex. And just hold and breathe. So I'm really using that pull of the hand down. Continue to hold here, otherwise we're increasing this stretch. I'm going to use my band again for this one. And I am lengthening that leg long. So we're just opening at the back of the knee, letting that leg fold out to the side and bend. If the leg doesn't fully extend, it's just increasing that um, extension. If it's fully extending, just let then gravity do the work of pulling the leg down. That band or that dressing gown cord should really support with this one. Gently bend, bend, the leg, bend the leg back in and place the foot down to the floor. Other side, fold around the foot and just hold, inhaling, exhaling. as you're ready, bending the knee, lengthening away. Keeping the leg now nice and straight, we're going to flex the foot and send the leg over to the opposite side.
Keep pulling the toes down towards you. Keep pushing that heel away. Bring in the leg back to center. In that deep hip stretch now, bend the knee, holding onto the inside of the foot. And we're guiding that knee down towards the floor. From here, lengthening the foot up and away. So we're increasing that stretch of the back of the knee. So we can keep holding on to the leg. We're just using the cord, the band to extend. And gently folding everything back in. Just release the band for a moment. Gently roll onto your side and use the hands to push the body up. We're bringing the body into our dancer's pose. So it's the legs stretched out to the sides. Sitting bones are underneath you. So just already feeling a bit of a stretch on the inside of the thighs. So we can stay here, sitting on a block again, if that's more comfortable or a cushion. Just holding this position if you're feeling already enough of a stretch. Otherwise, we're keeping the spine nice and long. So the head is stacked over the rib cage and we're just walking the hands forwards. Maintaining the knees, pushing down into the floor. If there's a little bend in the knees because of flexibility, just Gravity again will help get those knees down. So we can point the toes as well, just to reduce the intensity of the stretch. And just guide the body down. Just go as far as is comfortable. Make sure the knees are pointing up towards the ceiling, so we're not rolling with the knees in towards the center, but they're staying nice and aligned with the feet. Walking the body back in. This time we're going to twist towards our right leg and walk the hand down the right leg. Walking the hands back in. Twisting to face the same direction of that leg, so we're going to lie side on and reaching that top arm up and over. That opposite hip stays planted into the floor. Lengthening up and over to the other side. We're going to twist to face that left leg, walking the hands down, nodding the head forward so that right hip stays planted into the floor. Really feeling with every exhale body's just melting that little bit more. Walking the hands back in, twisting to lengthen along the inside of that leg. That top arm is coming up and over. and lifting up and out. So we're going to move through all of those positions now, rolling up and over, 
rotating to face that leg. We're going to sweep the arms round and over to the other side. Side on and lift. Let's go the other way. Up and over. Rotate to face that leg. Sweep the arms. And lift. So each time I'm reaching my fingers a little bit more, especially this motion. And over, last side. Sweep the arms around. And lifting up and over. Just give the legs a little bit of a bend and shake. I'm going to fold the legs in, find our cross-legged position, arms just resting over the knees and we're nodding chin to chest and reaching forwards as far as is comfortable. Such a good stretch for the lower back, for the glutes, the hips, even the neck and shoulders, you can feel a stretch sometimes here. Gently walking everything back in and we're going to swap over legs. So I often feel that the leg that's in front, I get more of a stretch on that side. That's why I always like to do this twice and make sure each leg has a turn of being at the front. So reaching forwards. As you breathe in, just really feel the rib cage expanding, feel that lift of the body. And as you exhale, just follow that downwards direction. And gently walking in. If any of those stretches feel good, by the way, feel free to pause and hold for a little bit longer. I'm going to fold the legs under and come into a crouched position. So making sure that you're in parallel, feet are in line with the hips and the knees. We're just going to lift the heels. So we're balancing on the big ball of the toe, a uh, big ball of the foot and the little ball of the foot and then stretch the heels down. And again, lift and lower, lift and lower. One more and lower. Step your left foot forwards and come into a high kneeling position. So here, our legs are in parallel. That knee is going to reach over the foot. And we're holding here. So you should feel a lovely stretch down the inside of that right thigh. So we're keeping our spine nice and long. If we reach over, this is going to actually shorten the muscles here. So we want to lengthen. So keep nice and upright, just resting the arm over the thigh. And really feel that length, not just through the leg, but through the torso as well. We're going to place the hands down towards the floor and increase that deep lunge. So send that knee back. Make sure your opposite knee is over your ankle. Fold the toes under and come into a deep lunge now. So we're really pushing that back of the knee up towards the ceiling, lengthening that opposite heel away. 
upper body is working a little bit here as well so we're not sinking in but we're actively holding this position giving space for the pelvis to sink down gently guide that knee down towards the floor lengthening up and let's swap on over so just this high kneeling stretch lengthening through pelvis nice and square that ankle underneath your knee head balanced on the top Don't forget to breathe. Deep in the lunge now. Let that back knee lengthen away. Hands just framing the foot. Really spread the fingertips as well, especially as we're going to come into a deep lunge. We're going to use the hands into the floor to help support the body in this stretch. Tuck the toes under and push the back of the knee up towards the ceiling. Really feel support through the hands, through the shoulders. Gently guide the knee down towards the floor. Sit slightly back just to bring your opposite leg through. We're going to tuck the tailbone under very slightly as we lengthen through and forwards into a bit of a cobra stretch. So really again, push the floor away, lengthen the shoulders, arch the lower back, open the front of the body and fold at the hips. Coming into your crouching position again. We're going to lift the pelvis as the head stays hanging over. On your next exhale, use those abdominal muscles to come all the way up to standing. That tailbone's dropping down. It's like a zip lengthening you all the way up. And we're going back down again. So nod that chin to chest. Let the shoulders fold in and just follow the crown of the head down. Tailbone tucks under as we lengthen up. Chin to chest. And just hold here. So you can always fold the arms. If it's more comfortable to take a little bend back of the knees please do otherwise we're stretching and aiming to lengthen these muscles out so keep pushing the backs of the knees away place one hand down to the floor and we're going to open out to the side turning the gaze to look for that top arm returning that arm down swapping over Returning the arm, bending your right knee. And straighten, bending your left knee. Good. 
and straight and bend the right knee once more and we're twisting again towards that right side return that arm down keep the legs exactly as they are as you open to the left And lengthen down. Straighten that right knee, bend the left knee. We're twisting towards that left side first. So turn in towards that bent leg. Don't forget to breathe. Turn the hand down, keep that left knee bent and we're twisting, opening up to that right side. And lengthen down. Bending both knees now. Finding the floor once more. Keep the pelvis nice and high as you reach the arms forward, spread thread the needle pose. So we're folding uh, right, uh, left arm through the right gap, turning the head to look underneath the armpit. Shoulder drops down towards the floor. If this feels quite an intense stretch, you can always sit the pelvis back over the feet so you'll still get a bit of a twist through the body finding somewhere in between maybe the pelvis being super lifted sitting on the heel somewhere comfortable between that bring that top arm in use that hand to push the body up and fold other side so I'm really turning the head to look under that shoulder And I'm breathing into that twist. Bringing that top arm in, pushing up, finding your quadruped position, just rounding the back now, nodding the head, folding at the pelvis to arch. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. Exhale, lift. And then just finding your neutral position. Folding back and resting the head down, finding your child's pose. Thank you so much for joining me with this stretch. I hope your body feels as lovely as mine does. Let me know in the comments how you found the session and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Pilates videos. Have a lovely day.